Hello and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. And the sun is rising here on our wonderful forest planet. And we are going to be leaving our initial landing spot here and making our way over to the moose camp, which we're going to start to set up in this episode. Now, before we get started, there's something I have to talk about. Is the fact that there was that large grid that I found in the last episode. It was like a, a base and um, maybe put in a little bit of the footage of that right now so that you guys can remember what it looked like. But something about that mod, that MES spawner, was really bugging out. And I mean like really, really bugging out. As in, I couldn't manipulate those bases. I grind off particular blocks, my game would crash. I tried to delete them through the, like, the entity list, the game would crash. And so I had to actually manually open up the text files that just, like, that are your save file for the game, the .sbs files, and I had to manually remove them from there. So I have removed said mod, and I've also made sure that it's out of the uh, light version, the which is the one you guys are currently playing on. It's just the world without any story. And uh, it's unfortunate that's occurring. I, I believe the person who put my mod pack and the scenario together has uh, been talking to the author of that particular MES spawner, so they will be able to uh, figure out the issue. But... Just so you know, that large grid that we found, unfortunately, we're not going to get any salvage from it. We're just going to have to move on and just populate the moose camp. Which is still there. That's that's still, uh, still rocking because we can uh, go fly ourselves over to the moose camp and check on it. As the plan today is we're going to come here to moose camp. As it is still very dark here, we're going to land the big ship and we're going to start building out our infrastructure. And one of the big things is we need to drill a well. We still need ice and hydrogen in the long term. And being by the coast here is easy because I can just stick a collector down the water and I can just get free ice. However, wherever you are on the planet... Water mod is always below you. So you can see here, if we go down, down and down and down to the water's surface, we're about 750 meters deep. So we need to make a 750 meter deep well at Moose Camp in order for this to work properly. But that's what we're going to be working on today. So I'm not sure if I'll be making an atmospheric driller or if I'll be doing that with a a like piston thing who knows but we did get a little bit of our fuel back we're at 61 percent we're going to go to our h2o2 generators and we're just going to make sure they're all off for the flight because i don't want them taking out my extra battery power when i am disconnected from this wind turbine grid i'm just going to leave this here for now i'll come back to it and uh i'll fix it up and probably grind it down off camera and we've got our little connector there out the bottom connecting us to the grid so all we have to do is press p and take off it's gonna be quite easy we should go and check the uh, specter here to make sure that it has its dampeners off so it's not going to fight us yep and then we can hop back in and uh head off to moose camp Arrgh. Oh, that's a blast off. Gotta love this power of this thing to get in the air. And turn off the reverse thrust. Turn on our gyro. And we are coasting. Alright, here we are. Moose Camp. Just a few kilometers away from all of my various resource nodes. 
now we should just be able to gently insert ourselves into these trees here. Something I probably should have done, and I always seem to forget it, is to add landing um, <laughs> spotlights so I can actually see where I'm going. But thankfully it is not too terribly dark, and it looks like we do have a bit of a clearing right here. As, um, as much of a clearing as you can get on this planet, that's for sure. Oh my god, it is dark down here. Sixty meters off the terrain. I can't see anything. I don't know what's below me. Um, I might want to get out and check. Although my ship is slowly, ever so slowly, tilting upwards. So I think I think we're good. We're knocking over a couple trees, but I think we're good. We've managed to touch down. So I'm gonna turn off my dampeners. And feather the mag plates. And there we go. I think we are touched. Touched down. We're at Moose Camp. Excellent. Oh my god, it is so bloody dark here. Okay, there's one of the buildings. I think <laughs> one of the first things we need to do is, uh, we had a spotlight on this before. Uh, we need to add that spotlight back on <laughs> so I can uh, actually see where the hell I am. And um, yeah, this one here. We can put that triple light bar on here. Easy peasy. Just throw it on right there, how about? And why not? Let's just put it on the other side as well. Spotlights. Crank it up to full distance and cut the color slightly to make it a little bit less intense. And there we go! Now we can actually see what the hell is going on down here. So that's actually a perfect position for the uh, large hydrogen ship, which I still haven't named. I probably never will. It'll just be the dropship. <laughs> okay, so we have a fairly large open area here that we can work with. And we can check out what are in these buildings. Because I wouldn't mind fixing these buildings up and making them functional. Because why not? These grids, access denied. We can turn them into ours. We should just be able to see. Aha, yes, there is a thing in the floor. That is how you take control of the grid. There you are. You sneaky, sneaky AI control module. So with that gone, the grid's mine. And uh, does it not come with a battery? Has a Spencer. Has Moose Camp. Did I disconnect the battery when I took that thing off? I probably did. What if I put that back there? Does that give me the battery back? Because there is a battery right here. Uh... Ooh, that's only a half block. Let's see what happens when we put a full block in there. Ah, I can't place it. I can place it here. That's because this is attached to this grid. But I can't place it 
off of the battery because that's a different grid. Oh, okay. So we have issues. Now this thing here is off of the battery, so that's also a different grid. So what I could do is I could place a um, merge, and I can merge the battery back in, or I could just honestly just cut it down. I mean, it's just a single battery. I mean, it'd be nice to get it. It is technically mine now. And it's got full power, so I think we could just save it. We can merge block this thing back together and save its butt. That's for sure. So, for the merge blocks, we're going to want the merge block off the battery facing upwards. And we'll need to build that up first. And then we're going to run a merge block off of here facing downwards. And it went green. And so I should have the battery back, right? Yeah, there it is. Okay, cool. So now I just need to slap a regular steel plate here. And I can get rid of the merge blocks. And the battery should be reconnected to the grid. And I'm going to drop the... Uh, like, that was a different grid before. So this should still be... Yes, good. All right. Battery has been saved. And now we can start looking for goodies. Because there are stuff in these uh, boxes and cabinets and things on these grids. And I want to get them all. Like this is a dispenser. And what else we got here? This block over here. Oh, yeah. We got a doorway in. Into the thing. Ah, resources. Anything else? That's just a bathroom. We have an armory. Could this armory have something in its grid? Yes, it does. It has a gun and some ammo. Ammo! I need ammo. I have zero magnesium on this planet, so I'm every little bit of ammo I get is just scavenged. So we can grab everything we need for that from the build planner here, and we can head on back to the ship and grab what we need. Armory, give me that gun. Yeah, baby. I am armed now. Oh, that feels much better. I feel safer. I feel safer already. Okay. Uh, there is grass coming through the floor here, which kind of sucks. This house is a little too, too far down into the grid. There's the same thing over here. Oh, no, this is the one I was at before, because I got the stuff out of the freight. So this has the same ammo and gun out of the out of its armory. Exact same building, just twice. Okay, okay. So that means in this one, we should also have some stuff in this. Yeah, some more loot in that freight container. More bullets! Okay. Let's see what other salvage there is. Ah, uh, we've already dealt with this grid. This grid. Ooh, the locker's got some stuff. And so does this freight. Excellent. What about this grid here? I own this grid. That's good. Ooh, and it's got some more loot for me. Why, thank you. Don't mind if I do. Including some more power cells, which are very heavy, and I cannot carry them. Alright, so for these grids, I think this is the one I want to live in. It's uh, it's right beside a giant tree. I like this one. It's a little bit taller, so you don't have the uh, grass coming through the floor. We've already got a bathroom and a shower, a bed... We just have to move this freight off to the side. We have our kitchen. This can be my treehouse. So what I think we'll do is we'll not use a color to repaint, but we'll just repaint it from its rust armor into battered armor. 
and uh, full full repaint staying with its original colors just getting rid of the rustiness which a little white and red combo I don't mind at all absolutely we can do that for this particular base and what does this thing got for power I don't think it has any power in here at all it's got the remote control but it's incomplete it has no power I wonder did a did a battery get disconnected from this thing underground the remote controls there incomplete I don't see a battery on this base oh, okay I can add one easily easily just on the bottom there and also I think would be a good idea we have this half armor here uh, we change out that half armor for a full armor and we put a wind turbine on it right there oh I don't have any interior plates but please let me be able to place that with the tree there I don't need much power because it's not going to be a functional grid like it's just going to be like where I'm going to sleep essentially but please 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 let me be able to place a no that's the wrong grid this is the one I want this is my house yes 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 we can place it <laughs> powered ah oh, goody 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 we don't need any power here at all pretty much we just need enough so that this grid doesn't despawn eventually get rid of that because it's in the way and now we can work on fixing this place up <laughs> access. I got access denied to my own room I thought building it up from that point would mean that I had access to it but no do I have to get it down below the hack line Yes, I did. <laughs> oh my god. I did not expect that. We will have to extend out the ladder a little bit, which we'll probably do with the perfect combination of neon corner light. This works so well, and I gotta get some, some materials for it. And then a stair. If I spell properly. Because what we can do is we can come like this. And hover ourselves under like so and put a corner light there and that gives us a mounting position to put a staircase no yes no maybe so hey sit suck a bit thought this would work why are you not working why why you know a line oh it's because I have this backwards is it why do I have T on oh my god all right do I need a larger grid to aim against I wonder here let me just do this Why don't we just steal it off the roof? I can aim there. See? I'm aiming there. There? There, it's fine. There we go. <laughs> it just needed some coaxing. And now it's in position. Although it's a different color. I'll fix it later. But I've got a little forest bungalow that I just need to fix up a little bit more. <laughs> Which I should mark here. Got my little new from core position. Forest bungalow. Hey! Okay. So. My house is going to be right there. I'm going to live in that one. A couple of these I'm going to get rid of 
Uh, there's one that's just like a... Yeah, it's this. It's just a fuel tank. I don't think it has any fuel in it. I'll cut that one down. I think we're going to have to put something that is going to go back into that space, though, from here. And we're going to start with a well. And we're going to have a well, I think, right in the center, which I want to feel like is going to be right around here. So this is going to be our well. Now, the question is, what's the best way to build this? Because we have to go 750 meters down <laughs> to get to the water. So we can have ice in this location so that we can have hydrogen production. And uh, just sort of a side note here. I'm tempted to take down some of the trees to make this a little bit better of a clearing. But I want to leave a nice amount of trees. So, like, the only thing I'm thinking of taking down is, like, this one and, like, this one and such. Just to open up the canopy a bit to let some light down into this space. But I'll do that later. I'll figure out what looks good. I mean, I could I could literally just right-click mine and just fall downwards. And this works. It's boring as heck, but it does work. Um, but we could set up a little bit of a drill rig here, which is more entertaining, so let's do that. Or we can make like a plunge driller. A really, really cheap and quick plunge driller to do this for me. Yeah, let's build a ship. Doesn't need to be big. Just needs to kick ass. Okay. So we're going to start off with a drill facing downwards. And I don't think I need more than one drill facing downwards in right click mode. Like, this is going to be a very temporary little thing. I'm just going to build it, use it to drill the mi dr drill the well, and then scrap it. So it doesn't need to be fancy. So it's only going to be right-clicking, so I don't need to, to connect it up. So I can just go drill, and then immediately just go battery, battery. And if it's right-clicking, we should have enough space around the side of it to do thrusters pointing downwards, like so. And then we're going to need a cockpit or dock cockpit or a control seat. That could also work. We're going to need some gyros as well. Uh, don't need extra drills, so we're done with that. And we need some side to side thrust as well. Ooh, I could take these Atmos and lower them. One block. And then I can go around the ship with some... Ooh, that would cause me some weird phantom forces, probably. But that sounds fun. I can override and I can get over it. Besides, the thing doesn't need to fly far. <laughs> it's gonna spin like a freaking corkscrew. Because what I could do is just put all the thrusters like this in a circle. And so if I go in any direction, I'll start spinning to the right. Which, fuck it, it's going to be fun. It's going to be entertaining to fly. Let's just build it that way. <laughs> oh, then we'll just throw a, a gyro on it, uh, too, so that way I can override one. And I'll put a control seat on the top. And that's literally the ship. <laughs> it's just a plunge driller with zero frills. Yeah, and the stupid thing is complete. Oh, this is going to be so fun. So, um, on the bar, I'm going to have one gyro for override, and then I'll be able to control the other gyro, and I should just be able to thrust. And it should break that one. Yep, that works. <laughs> so if I thrust forward, if I thrust in any direction... I spin to the left slightly. <laughs> oh, this thing is cursed. I love it. Okay. Uh, how long do I have to fly? I got 50 minutes. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. Uh, where's my hole? I need to plunge my hole. 
everything is trying to spin me to the left. <laughs> I love realistic thrust. It's so dumb, but it's so fun. All right, block tools, drill, right click. We're aligning to the horizon. We're over top of the hole. And uh, we can... Oh, it's going to be a much bigger hole. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a big hole. Okay. All right, here we go. <laughs> now just the long process of gently tapping C to lower my ship as I hold right click and check my horizon every so often. We are drilling wells. See our altitude there is at minus 175. We are nowhere near the minus 750 we need. <laughs> oh, it's gonna take a while. Let's take a look, pop out spectator camera, and see how we've been doing. We have dug a fair ways, but we need a a long ways more to go. And then I have to, oh, then I have to make a grid that long. Oh, it's going to hurt. This is what I get for wanting to live in the mountains and wanting to have uh, ice available in the mountains. Oh my god, there's some water! We've done it! Our well is complete! Or at least the drilling part of it is. We'll just go a little bit further here so we have some room at the bottom. But, <laughs> there we go! We have hit water. And you... If I turn my lights off... This is how dark the game is. <laughs> God damn, it's dark down here. But yeah, let's turn our lights back on. We can't even see the top. It's so goddamn dark. Uh, we should be able to just zip on out of here. Um, realistically, as long as I don't touch my... I want to try this. <laughs> I'm going to save because this is going to be funny. But realistically, as long as I don't touch my mouse and I'm perfectly aligned with the... Uh, the tunnel here. I should just be able to zip on out of here. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> okay, that was worth. Uh... Oh God, where did my body go? Oh, there's my body. Wait, where is it going? My body location was that way. Wait, what? <laughs> Where'd my body go? Is it like inside the ground right now? Oh, it's at the bottom of the well. <laughs> okay, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not. We're not stopping with that. Oh, hey, the drill got out. Nice. Wee! Ow! 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 Oh God! I need the lights. All right, free fall. Hey, a pretty straight tunnel if I can free fall that far without uh, even coming close to the walls. Nice! Ooh, pretty good. <laughs> ah, let's get out of here.
Ah, there's the surface. And we pop out of there. And up. And then spin. And then go right back down the hole now. <laughs> that would have been funny if I was lined up and I could just go straight back down. Okay! So, we had our fun. <laughs> and now we need a little bit of steel plate. And we do need some interior as well. Let's go lay out the pipe that's going to go down the center of that. So we're going to go with the conveyor piping. Because I think that's probably the coolest. It'll already look the best too. So conveyor pipe. And we need to center this. So the pipe's going to go right here in the center. But off of that, we're going to go one block here. Is that pretty centered? How does that feel? Uh, we can be further over to the side some more. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Also, I want to gravity align this. So... That center there. I want to just, just barely touch the voxel with this thing. Just so it holds. Okay. And see how that is. Ooh, that's looking pretty good. Uh, it could be a little bit more this way. A tiniest bit. But it should be, again, barely touching the voxel. A little bit further to the right. Right around there. Oop, nope, that's that's fallen. Alright, well that's going down. My my thing is now turned a little bit, so I gotta compensate for that. Uh right about I think that could be probably the pretty good. Good enough. Okay, so for this, I think I'm gonna want just a regular old conveyor junction here. Hey, okay. and then this can go across. And then what I think I could do? All oh, right, because I could line up to this, and then I could pull it back slightly, and that would allow me to better center this. Oh no, it snaps in because of the grip. Oh, okay. I have to... I have to have it more definitively off that grid. Also, because I want this a bit higher here. I want this just barely in the grid on this side. But we'll do it up here. That won't snap in. So then if I do a grid, and then a junction, then grid, grid. Okay, that's good this this way. Now we just need to shimmy it over to the side a little bit. So we'll cut this off. And we'll align with that. And then we'll just pull it this way a bit. Out to here. Ah, it snaps in. It's too close. Hey, that was far enough away that it didn't snap together. Yeah, that looks better. So then, block. Conveyor junction, block, block. Hell yeah, that'll work. And then after this, going down. Cosploosh, we are in the water. All right, and now we can put a collector on the end. Uh, we'll just go like another 
I'm not sure how big the tides are and waves are here because I haven't been around for a while. I remember on, when I was playing on Agoras, they would go up and down by a fair amount. So I'll just do make sure I'm a few blocks under the water. And then we'll slap a collector down. Okay. The well has been laid out. And now there is the very long process of actually building it. Which I am definitely not going to get done on this episode. No. No, no, not possible. <laughs> Unless I'm just going to, like... <laughs> This is just going to be a montage the whole thing. I'm going to build the well cap because I want there to be some safety here so I don't accidentally fall into the well. And then we have to send like, oh no, little Timmy is falling down the well. And Lassie has to go save me or something. Needs to play There's some. Alright, so I want to be able to access the well here. Um, in the future, there'll be a pipe coming out of this that'll then go off to another grid. Um, probably, like, directly that way, pipe coming up and start snaking over and such. I want to taper this well head down to the ground. So we definitely want to have some armor shaping here. And as well, I want a doorway on it probably here so that way I can access the shaft if I need it um, ba -ba -ba. we can go with sliding door um, or we could go with a sliding hatch but it does use the extra space which is unfortunate now, we'll just go with the sliding door. And that way we can access the, uh, the hole. So I think is we'll start cutting it down right there. We're going to keep this arm going back to the wind turbine. But we'll just slice this down to its bare minimum, which I think will be this. That's what will be at full height. And then we're going to start tapering it down with this set, I think. No, six. Yeah, with this stuff. Yeah, start tapering it down with this stuff. That into this. Oh, yeah, that'll be... Beautiful looking little wellhead. And then we can go down into this slope here at the end. There's actually three locations to put these. There. Excellent. And then this f here is just going to be two by one slopes. Yeah! So there's my little well head. So that way, I'll always know where my well is. And I've got access to my well if I need it. But also, it'll be nicely capped off. And when this... Uh, door is built up, it'll be safe so that you can't just fall down there uh, without any uh, forewarning. You'll have to open the door to meet your demise falling down the well and get saved by a lassie. Alright, now that I've got my well, it is at least laid out. There's some power on it so it's not going to despawn and it is safe with the door. You know, Woo, I just gotta make sure I don't open it when I'm standing on it. Um, I can lay out what I think will be my hydrogen station. So, again, what we're going to have to do is set up some large solar panels or some large wind farms in this area so that we can have the spare power in order to uh, process the ice and hydrogen. But I'm thinking, in terms of what buildings are around, 
that's going to be the building I'm going to be living in. A couple of these are going to be little sheds that I'm going to build up and make look cute. And there is this hydrogen over here. So I think I'll build it out this direction. And as so, what we'll do is we can come up here with some uh, pipes. I'm going to do a nice pipe end because that'll look good. And then I can uh, curve it. Or mm, how high do I want this to go? I might want to go up a few blocks in order to, if I have any uh, rovers or anything that I eventually build. Not sure if I will in this area, but I can at least have some clearance. And I could possibly go into the top of a uh, conveyor, like conveyor into the top of something over there, which would probably look a lot better than conveying into the side of something. So, how far away do I want this thing? I'm thinking like 20 blocks away. So 20 blocks, it starts to get into the hillside here. So I would have to go up a block, but that would be okay. Maybe I have that and I go more like here-ish. Aligning with this tree maybe. Sure, here aligned with the tree. So the center of it is going to line up with he there with the grid. Aha, very good. So we can pop that up by one. And we can bring this back until it goes into the ground. Like so. Possibly even just one less. And we can look at how much that is. So I've got one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. I think that's plenty of room to be able to make a nice looking hydrogen facility. And I can span out going this way. Several blocks. No issues there with the terrain. And I can span out going this way several blocks. And no issues with the terrain. It starts to slope away so I get a little bit of extra space. And so I can make a large building centered here that goes left and right. Uh, over to say like this tree and over to say like that tree and the pipe will come in in the center of it and then it'll be distributed through there. It'll probably be like a hydrogen tanks on each wing, I want to say. Let me just lay this out a bit more here. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven. So there, this looks pretty good. Eleven. So that is twenty three wide. Twenty five wide. Twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty three, one. Ow. I think of how much do I need to push this thing? I think I go out to this tree, which is another block. I think that'll go well. Out to that. So they should be equal. Out to that tree. And I can bring this back to in line with here, which is 11 blocks back. Which should be good for laying out some hydrogen tanks and such. So with a nice large hydrogen tank here, we have the industrial hydrogen tank. And what I think we can do is I want to make this look good. And I kind of want to do something reminiscent of what me and Andrew Man did in Escape from Mars, where we have the tanks on the outside of the facility, like so. And I can do three tanks in a row while also having a block all the way around so I can put like a fence. And that can be on that side. And then on the other side, I can do the exact same thing. Ooh, do I want it to be... Now, here's a really good question. Do I want it to be 
symmetrical or asymmetrical? Because I could put the production facility in the center and have hydrogen tanks on either side, or I could put hydrogen tanks filling up one side and put the production facility on one side. I want the tanks on both sides, I think. I think it'll look good. And I also am going to expand this by two blocks forward. Something like that. Because what that'll let me do is it'll allow me to put a gap between each one of these. So it'll be like that. And still have my blocks going around with that way. Perfection. Now I can pull this back across the entire width. And the layout here. And that means I'll have that, that, and that. And then I think as well, another whole row. I mean, eventually I want this thing, because it's just going to sit here and generate hydrogen for the rest of the series. This can be one of my main hydrogen bases. And so if I set it up big enough, I shouldn't ever need... Like, I just fly back here, slurp up a bunch of hydrogen, and I should be good to go. In that case, then this section here is where the building will start. Like so. And then I'll have the 12 hydrogen tanks, as well as in the center here. I can make a nice ramp into the middle. I can have the pipe coming in overhead. And I can line these walls here with H2O2s and have a nice little control station right here. I absolutely love this place. Excellent. So now we just need to... Oh, oh we can put in a gate. Yeah, baby. I love designs that include gates. They look so good. And then out the front here, I can... Uh, I can do this or I can actually do some stairs. Well, we can just ramp it down. Oh, yeah, this is the very reminiscent of uh, the Escape from Mars playthrough. Ah, uh, yes. Ramp up into the thing. Oh, and I fell through. <laughs> ah! Although, if this was the Escape from Mars one, I'd, tr I'd, I'd bring the well over underground and pop it up in the center. But that's where we're going to differ. Is we are going to come here and come in through the roof and probably come in right around here and just get rid of these conveyors and put them in the proper order and we can just put a conveyor junction alright put a conveyor junction right here either or it doesn't really matter and then because this is already uh, higher up so we can put an end there and then pipes over the top back towards the well and uh, angle that bad boy in and connect it up oh and then once this is built actually no as long as that pipe's there I can cut this off and there's still one grid Oh, 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 oh. oh, that's gonna look good when it's all said and done. That, or we can move this thing one higher, too. Because I do need to get into the top of these, uh... These things. Or, I could not. <gasps> I could do these from below, because I have the space underneath. Ooh, yes, I'll pipe these things from below. So, in the top, they just need... Um, conveyor pipe caps. Oh, that'll look so good. See, Moose Camp, you thought this was a hydrogen tank. This is a hydrogen tank setup. Oh, baby. But, there's no way I'm going to be getting this stuff built today. 
This is going to be a long project. And uh, I think something like this. Yeah, you are in the way. You're coming down. Goodbye, tree. We need to get to work building up some of this stuff. However, the amount of work that is to be done here is far too much for the amount of resources I have currently on hand. So if I just jump into my seat here, just so I can get some power and hydrogen back while I'm looking here. We have only 34,000 iron left. It's not enough. Not enough to do this kind of stuff. We do have a lot of stuff built up. Yes. It's good. We have a fair amount of resources built up. But building all of those conveyor pipes down is going to take way too much. So we're going to have to do some mining. So probably the next episode is going to be setting up a mining ship. We'll probably make it atmospheric as we are in an atmosphere here and we don't we can just leave it here. It'll just be the mining ship for this planet. We don't have to worry at the moment about batteries and power because we have 21 hours if we're just sitting here running our refineries. So we can go and we can build ourselves a small grid mining ship atmospheric that is capable of carrying a fair amount of resources and we can head off into the mountains here as our iron mountain is just five kilometers away so we can head up to this mountaintop do a little bit of clear cut and just make a uh, an access point for myself and then start to start to basically take this mountaintop off and bring it all back to the moose camp and oh my god, you can see my lights through the trees. <laughs> that looks so cool. But we have moved to Moose Camp. We have laid out the first couple bits of it. Worked on setting up what will be my home. Which I'm going to sleep there tonight. That's where we'll start the next episode. And we have laid out our giant giant well which it's going to take forever to build and a hydrogen production facility to match which again will take forever to build but once it's done we'll be able to fuel our ships for all of our massive interplanetary adventures that we're going to be going on in this season because I have to visit all of these planets and I need fuel and uh yeah I'm going to need lots and lots of fuel because you see that little red dot over there. See this? It's all the way over here. Yeah, that's another planet. It's 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 so far. We're going to need so much fuel. And plus, we have stuff like uh, platinum and uh, gold and silver here so we can make jump drives. That's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching. And uh, good hunting out there. Little space engineers.